Hi everyone. Uh, so this is actually the recording of the case study application of land development under National Land Code. Uh, the purpose of this uh, particular exercise was to examine students' understanding uh, of the National Land Code, especially on dealings and also on land development matters that we have covered uh, under the National Land Code uh, topic uh, under BIE 2001. Actually, when uh, coming up with this particular exercise, um, I wanted to design an exercise which uh, requires students to think outside the box. And that's why um, I gave all the pertinent information uh, in, in uh, the slides and didn't really encourage the students, students to come and ask me questions because I want them to think as a group uh, and come up with a proposed development uh, based on the um, the highest and best use or based on the information given to them in the brief. Okay, uh, now, so as far as the clients uh, uh, go, okay, uh, in this particular exercise, uh, it was explained that um, there's actually a couple, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Chen, and uh, this couple have five, ch five children and ten grandchildren. Okay, these are all pertinent okay, in um, answering the second part of this particular exercise which is the method of disposal of the proposed development. And um, here also is mentioned about how the grandchildren are aged between one to 16 years old. And uh, this is uh, here, okay, uh, just as um, a challenge for the students to, to provide a way uh, how these uh, grandchildren who are yet of the age of majority, how can they be um, assured of their uh, portion uh, of the end product? Okay? And um, I just wanted to, I, I just wanted students to have this consideration okay, when they think of the method of disposal. Um, the second um, information given is about how the property is actually an oil pump estate. And this particular um, this particular mention uh, about estate was um, uh, occur quite a few times yeah, in the brief. Um, and I was hoping that students will pick up um, on this hint and associate this with one important consideration uh, when dealing with um, estate um, development in Malaysia. So here again, oil palm estate. And then uh, another hint is the total land area, which is 50 hectares, which is above um, 100 acres and uh, that would actually I hope that would would uh, trigger uh, students um, realization that they are dealing with something that needs the estate land board's permission okay when uh, proposing any development and it says there uh, in terms of their proprietorship each owns one over two undivided share on the property and they are key to maximize the value of their estate. So here as well, another um, hint is maximize. Uh, I was hoping that they would think of a way to achieve highest and best use, okay? Uh, as far as, um, as the legal consideration uh, goes, okay? Uh, and I also mentioned in another part of the brief, okay, to forget about finance, forget about the uh, technical aspect of the development. Uh, in the next slide, okay, uh, the location of the land is given. Uh, uh, there it says that the nearest town is Banteng. Another hint is this one, five kilometers. Five kilometers is not that far, meaning it is near to an urban center. Okay, and I was hoping that the students would um, consider this as well okay, when they come up with their, uh, with their proposed development. And see here, another hint, plantation, the estate. And this is also something that I give the students, okay, uh, another consideration, okay, what to do, uh, or, or what's the highest and best use when there is a proposed uh, university, public university in Banting, which is about five kilometers away. And I also warn them, okay, warn the students that this uh, proposal is actually hypothetical, uh, so that uh, um, uh, nothing, uh, they, they, will, they, they will not uh, assume that this is an actual development. So this is just hypothetical for the purpose of this particular um, activity. So the subject property is here and proposed university is about five kilometers away, four to five kilometers away, okay? quite near the subject property. So hopefully they will realize that this is within the catchment area of the university. 
uh, the, the subject property, uh, the 50 hectares just now. And here, okay, another um, detail of the subject property, okay, um, which tells um, students, okay, about the location of the uh, subject property in regard to um, Banting Town, which is about five kilometers away. And the purpose of this particular uh, slide is to show that there is a good road, uh, road network and to show as well the surrounding developments, okay, so that the students will be able to, uh, to, to figure out uh, what is actually the highest and best use for their um, subject property. As they see as well, another hint is surrounding development, small housing schemes, so that, you know, um, students will be able to um, to anticipate, uh, to anticipate, okay, there's a public university, what will be the highest and best use for this particular oil palm plantation. Uh, since the, the existing uh, developments are small housing schemes, what would be uh, the complementary, maybe, complementary development uh, on the subject property? Uh, maybe uh, there will still be housing demand uh, from the coming from the proposed development uh, in terms of student accommodation, staff accommodation. But uh, at the same time, of course, this um, new housing demand will have to um, cater for the development, uh, for the um, increase in population uh, in terms of increased um, businesses, commercial activities there. Okay, So that I, I was hoping that uh, students will pick up and incorporate in the um, new development. So you will have um, a mixed development here uh, in the 50 hectares, which is quite large, yeah, a large tract of land. And in this particular slide, okay, shows the photographs of the property so that students will realize that the topography is, um, is what do you call it? topography is um, fair, okay, is, um, is flat, um, it's not, doesn't really require, okay, um, that much work here okay, in terms of um, filling and leveling and also in terms of access road, it, front, uh, it fronts um, metal road okay? and also you have a good uh, road network huh, within the um, oil pump plantation itself or oil pump uh, estate itself. Then okay, the estate itself um, in this particular slide shows the three contiguous lands. Yeah? The estate comprises three contiguous lands namely lots 2767 here, in the middle 2768, and um, in the um, southmost part of the estate 2769. Okay, three separate titles forming the estate, cultivated with 25 uh, year oil palm, okay, which are all uh, old trees. So this also hints that the um, estate is right for redevelopment or development. It has a frontage road as shown in the previous um, slide before the photo flat for, uh, topography and lies level with the road frontage. So ready for redevelopment, in fact. Okay? So um, um, uh, this particular slide actually could correspond to a real life um, scenario or situation uh, later on. Okay? Um, uh, I hope that students pick up uh, that these are pertinent details that they must have uh, when they um, consider uh, um, uh, on how to advise um, to, uh, the clients in the future if they are real life consultants yeah some of the, uh, there are other details but for the purpose of this particular course uh, land, um, uh, land development law these um, are enough okay should be enough and also this uh, particular lot 2769 uh, in the south is quite pertinent uh, there is an easement here as mentioned in the next slide okay in this particular slide okay uh, the title details are given, all the land areas are given corresponding to the lot numbers and says that um, the land use are all agree, express condition, all pump, so no problem with that. Okay. Restriction in interest, okay. dealing must obtain written approval from the state authority. Uh, um, this will require um, students to address this issue uh, in the um, disposal part, second part of the, uh, of the exercise. And then here, encumbrances charged to the second lot, 1116, uh, charged to BBB Bank. So what needs to be done if there is a, a proposal to develop um, this particular land? Okay? And students should have uh, uh, be alerted to this as well and not just um, gloss over this particular detail. And says there, part out. So these are all the extra considerations that the students must make 
part of lot 2767 here, measuring two hectares is leased to Mr. Raja. So what needs to be done okay, when there is a proposal uh, to, to develop this 2767 according to the brief given by the client? And lot 2769 has an easement with lot 1162 located in the south. Okay, So this was the uh, southernmost um, lot as uh, mentioned earlier in this previous slide. And this um, neighboring or adjacent lot 1162 has the right of way on lot 2769 to access the main road So also, um, as well. Okay, This has to be uh, addressed by the, uh, by the students okay? and when addressing. Um, their clients. So the brief here, okay, um, giving the role that the students have to play, you are a property consultant, Mr. and Mrs. Chu approach you to advise them on how best to develop their estate, minus the portion, leased to Mr. Raja, the two hectare portion just now. And Mr. Raja will still be allowed to stay on his leased portion and that portion will not be developed. Okay, So this is actually pertinent uh, to the proposed development. And from the proposed development, Mr. and Mrs. Chu would like to dispose the units the following way, okay, which is sell 40%, keep 40%, give 20% to their children and grandchildren. So this uh, apportionment needs to be, um, needs to be uh, catered for uh, in the proposed development. Okay, and here the last one, the last um, um, hint or the last requirement on students. Market study shows a high preference for landed property in the area. So this is actually um, um, a way to tell the students that we uh, uh, do not consider strata property for this particular area because the preference uh, from the market study um, shows that you will not be able to sell strata. Um, students are then divided into six groups and they were asked okay, to, uh, to answer or to provide a high, uh, what we call a development that um, fulfills the uh, requirement here. And the task by applying the knowledge on dealings on week five, that they learn on week five and land value matters that they learn in week eight and week nine uh, and making suitable assumptions. So they were allowed, students are allowed to make suitable assumptions. Uh, there are two things that they must do. The first one is to propose a suitable development on Mr. and Mrs. Chen's estate. Forget about the number of units and prices. Focus on what you think are suitable types of development on the land. So the focus now is on just the type of the development. So I was looking for landed one. And I was also looking for the type meaning um, residential or commercial. If it's commercial, what type of commercial? That's all. Okay. And um, in order for this, uh, for this um, proposed development to take place, okay, students will then uh, be, uh, um, must um, advise Mr. and Mrs. Chen on all national land code matters related to the proposed development and its disposal. So one is how to, get, how to address or how to um, deal with okay, the national land code land matters. Okay, when they propose the development just now, whether to have just residential, just um, commercial or mixed uh, development, uh, landed um, uh, uh, development uh, as per um, uh, preferred, uh, as per the market study, as per indicated in the market study. Um, and also what to do uh, with Mr. Raja's um, lease, what to do with the, um, with the charge uh, to the BBB bank uh, on the lot 2768 and you know finally uh, how to deal with the easement on lot 2769 okay? and other matters the planning and finance matters were uh, supposed to be ignored by the students so let's see how the students do uh, in their task the floor is yours Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to Dr. Sinati and my fellow friends. Okay, I'm Kul Shajira, which is the presenter uh, of my group, Group 1, uh, from you, Property Consultant Co. Okay, uh, 
uh, in my group, there's uh, a few members that I think more suitable to present because I think they can present better than me, but it's okay. Okay, we have Don Lee Dan, Wong Anak Manis, Besena Jom Dian Sanya Mani, we have Do Ong Do Jin, and also Jia Wen Hu, which is still a cat now in China. Right, next slide. Okay, for the first question, I think I will go one by one so we can make it clear if I uh, I give some analogy, I give, uh, I explained uh, one by one flow that stated here, okay. First of all, for the first question, we advise Mr. and Mrs. Chu, the, devel the suitable development on the estate is mixed with them. Why? Why? When we look at the good access, good access of the road, we look at the near to, uh, when, when this estate, when this land is near to, the city of Banting and uh, there will be a public university that will come soon so I we think we think that if we build the mixed development uh, building here uh, that's mean uh, we can build a shop plot and also the housing scheme why we just not uh, just build uh, or suggest or advise them to to develop a how you scheme because uh, this this area is already surrounded 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 with the housing scheme. So uh, I think uh, we think the best development is the mixed development where can, we can uh, we can uh, build uh, the, the shop lot there and also the housing scheme the residential area there. Okay, okay why? Okay, uh, uh, the reason uh, we uh, we advise them. Uh, just give back the money. Development, okay. First, uh, first um, we'll go uh, for the flow uh, of uh, why we come with the results. So, we we'll settle one by one, okay. First, uh, I think we should touch about Mr. Raja first because uh, this is the first thing that I think we can settle up. Uh, uh, set up first. So, uh, firstly, we subdivision uh, Mr. Raja part. Okay, we just try to now. Uh, Mr. and Mr. Uh, Mrs. Chu just have 48 hectare. Okay, now from this 48 hectare, uh, now uh, we can we can uh, do the other the other thing, which is augmentation, conversion, transfer, keep, and trans and transfer, which is uh, the for uh, the the three things. That Mr. and Mr. Chu uh, want to do on their land. Okay. Okay. Now uh, done with the uh, subdivision. Next, uh, next we move to amalgamation. Okay. Why we think amalgamation is the easy way? Because when we combine all of the three lots, I think we can make it easier if we want to convert it, we want to transfer it, or want to do other things. Because uh, if uh, if there's a, the, the lot is, is uh, not night, or not in one lot, so I think it will be more harder for us to 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 convert or to transfer it. Okay, first week uh, from agglomeration, uh, we uh, unite, we combine three lot, which is lot uh, two seven six seven, lot two seven six eight, and lot seven uh, six nine. Okay, all right. Uh, after that, after we set up the set down the amalgamation process and we continue to the conversion. Okay, conversion. Okay, now the estate is at the agricultural land rights. Okay, if we want to do the mixed development, we need to convert it to the building. Okay, now we change for agriculture to building by conversion. Okay, uh, in this in this in this case, it uh, will involve it will involve um uh one uh section one to five which is uh the 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 thing that we need to to, to focus about uh the the, the law the land law, which is involved in this in this in this in this part, in this uh conversion all right uh after we convert it now uh, now we can uh, we can we can focus we can highlight about the sale keep and give to the children and grandchildren that Mr and Mrs Chu, uh, Chu uh, want to do on their land okay so uh, for the transfer part for the sale part okay free uh, 50 percent which is the same to 90.2 hectare uh, this uh, this part uh, involves transfer in section one two four section one two four because uh they want to send it uh, they want to sell sell it so uh we we, we have to involve the transfer process okay uh 
Okay, next, uh, we, we go to the second things that Mr. and Mrs. Uh, she want to do on the land, which is, you want to keep the land. Okay, we understand this question, okay, the keep, the keep part, the, the part of the land that you want to keep is the part that they want to develop, okay, because uh, we want to meet the high and best use. We, uh, they want to uh, optimize uh, the use of the land. So, I think this part, we think this part is the, is part uh, we uh, to, to make, uh, to do a mixed development uh, between there. Okay. And uh, next, after we will a bit, uh, the last one uh, that uh, Mr. and Mr. Um, still want to give to children, uh, their children and grandchildren. Okay, which is 20% that involve, okay, that involve transfer. Uh, so, in section 124, made uh, a result of uh, inheriting, which is reason that uh, they want to, to give to give their to their children and the grandchild okay but um in this case uh the, the another other thing that we we uh, we discuss is okay uh, because of the the age of the grandchild is one to 16 years old not wish 18 years old uh, yet so uh, the parents can can what uh, can hold the land on behalf of their children lah, until uh, they reach at uh, the age of 18 years old. Okay. Mm. So that, uh, I think, uh, I should have that uh, we have discussed. Uh, that's all for me. Uh, sorry for all of my weakness. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, thank you, Shaku Shakira. I think because of the line, uh, uh, but um, since we record this meeting, okay, maybe after this, uh, it will be clearer. Uh, once we got the recording and I upload, maybe it will be clearer what you said just now. Because some of the parts are quite patchy. Patchy means the uh, broken, uh, a, bit, a bit patchy lah. Dia macam terputus-putus. But it's fine. Uh. Uh, I've got a few questions, but I, I'm not going to ask now. I think I'm going to compile my questions and wait until the end of um the presentation and then i'm going to ask uh, um all together uh, the questions thank you ko very good not very good good saja lah, uh, because i've got a few questions but never mind your presentation i appreciate uh, uh, because you've got the courage and also it's quite fluent the way you present ko quite surprising i tak pernah dengar you present before this yeah so good job on your presentation Ah, ni baru comel. Okay. Okay. Um, good afternoon to Dr. Haas and all my fellow cosmates. So we from uh, companyroyal.co.co. Um, I'm going to present to you about the case study on applications of land development under national land code. So our group members consist of Ama Ikwa Najmi, Nuru Nasmaliza, Nashasha, Ting Junkit, uh, Tan Shiting and me. I'm Teo Weixian. So next slide, please. So... For the first question, we need to propose a suitable development on Mr. and Mr. Chen's estate land. So, um, in this question, we propose to develop residential and commercial building because of under budget 2021, there's a proposal to build a public university in Banting and this will increase the demand of residential and commercial building in that area. For the second question, so is to advise Mr. and Mr. Chen on the national land code matters related to the uh, proposed development and its disposal by ignoring the planning and finance matters. So, next slide. So for the second questions, so first we need to, we have to do the subdivision. Okay, so the subdivision is under National Land Code Section 136. And this is because um, the part of the lot 2767 uh, measuring two hectares is leased to Mr. Raja. So we need to get the concern from the Director of Land and Mines for the registry titles, Mr. Raja as the lessee and the state authority to subdivide the 18, uh, 20 hectares into 18 hectares and 2 hectares. So, um, after we that, get, the cons uh, get the consent and subdivide the land for the lot 2767, and we will convert all the three, three land, which is not number 2767, 2768, and 2769 into from the agriculture land into the building for the development purpose, which is residential and commercial. And in this conversion, we need to get the order, uh, get, we also need to get the consent. So for the first 
uh, first part of land, which is lot number 2767, uh, we need to get the consent from the state authority only. And for the second land, which is lot number 2768, we need to get the consent from the state authority and also the charge uh, BBB bank uh, under the section 2000 and, uh, 215 and 216 because um, there's uh, encumbrances for the uh, encumbrances that charge to the BBB bank. So for the third land, which is lot number 2769, and we need to get the consent from the state authority and also the landowner of lot 1162 because uh, lot number 2769 has an easement with lot 1162 located in the south. So after we get the, all the consent from the um, from state authority charge and the landowner of lot 1162 and we can convert the land into the from the agriculture into the building. So after conversion, and we need to surrender and do the re-alienations. So the surrender and re-alienations is under section 203. And for this section, we need to um, submit the application in form 12D with fee, submit the approved layout plan, which is residential and commercials, and submit the issue document title, and also pay the additional premium and tax rates. So after we pay, uh, do all these, these things, and we will get the we will directly get the new titles from the uh, state authority. So lastly, we need to transfer the things uh, the the title uh, transfer the land into uh, to three parts. So for first part is for the sellings. Sellings is forty percent and is more uh, is sell to the buyers and investor as we mentioned earlier. Uh, there's a proposal of public university in Bambi. Uh, there's a proposal of public university in Banting. So there's a demand of uh, land to be built. So for the another 20% will be transferred as a gift to the children and their grandchildren. And for the grandchildren due to the minority age, then um, the their parents will um, put the name for as their parents first instead of grandchildren after they, are, after they mature or 18 years old, then the land will be uh, named under their grandchildren. So for lastly, uh, Mr. and Mr. Chen will keep the developed land for 40%, which is 19.2 hectares to rent at least to other parties. So that's all from us. Thank you. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, Wesian, very good job also, very clear. And the slides are a bit more attractive than the first group. Okay, can we go to third group? Okay, um, Doctor, I start. Ah, can. Okay, hi, I'm from Land Corp Consultancy, and my group member are Chao Singi, Amang, Dina, and Alicia, and me. I'm one of the property consultant. I'm singing from Land Corp Consultancy. Our clients are Mr. and Mrs. Chen, who seek advice from us for their estate. The background is Mr. and Mrs. Chen have 50 hectares agricultural land which are 20 hectares for lot 2767, 20 hectares for lot 2768, and 10 hectares for lot 2769. These land are for agricultural use. We suggest Mr. and Mrs. Chen on three methods. The first one is Mr. and Mrs. Chen sell the whole 20 hectares of land 2768 as commercial land. Section 52 of National Land Court mentioned that the land owners must use the registered land based on its land use. Failure to do so is a breach of condition of the land alienated and the strict state authority can forfeit the land. However, if the land owner want to use the land for another category of land use, the person should apply to change the category of land use accordingly. And we suggest Mr. and Ms. Chen to sell the lot 2768 as commercial land. This is because the land is near Republic University, which has the high potential for, for development such as short lots or malls. As section 124 and 124A of National Land Court allow land owners to apply for any changes of land. 
So Mr. and Ms. Chang can change the agricultural land to commercial land under Section 124 of National Land Code. By this, they can avoid have any additional premium from the state authority. The second method is we suggest the Ms. and Ms. Chen can keep remain 18 hectares of Lot 2767 as agricultural land. Lot 2767 originally is 20 hectares, but Mr. Raja leads 2 hectares to the land. 20 hectares minus 2 hectares become 18 hectares. So Lot 2767 is 18 hectares, even though Section 214 of National Land Court allowed transfer for any list of alienated land, but it is better than Miss and Miss Chen keep the 18 hectares of land. Lastly, for Lot 2769, which is an agricultural land, Miss and Miss Chen have five children and 10 grandchildren. So we suggest that they can share 2% of 10 hectares of land to their children and 1% of 10 hectares of land to each grandchild. State authority not allowed to alienate any land held under the category of agriculture to one person or body that will result in the said land being less than two per five hectares or one acres. So Mr. and Ms. Chen share two acres to each of their five children. However, the age range for the 10 grandchildren are between 1 to 16 years old. So Mr. and Ms. Chen can only hold the land on behalf of their grandchild children, which until the grandchildren are achieving 18 years old. So Miss and Miss Chen hold the land as trustee and the 10 grandchildren are beneficial of trust. They hold private cover for the land to protect a claim of registrable title or interest pending registration. That's all from me, thank you. F group four, Tio Titong. Good afternoon, Doctor. Afternoon, Tio. Okay. So our company name is I'm Law Property Consultants, and our group consists of Tio Zidong, Yuan Chiawen, Kwak Seyen, Harris, and Adila Hanan. So in simple one, in this case about this total 50 hectares of the land owned by Mr. and Ms. Chen are decided to be divided to a selling part keeping part and giving part by following the ratio 40, 40, and 20. But due to the lot 2767 measuring 2 hectares has been leased to Mr. Raja, the total hectares is reduced a bit to 48 hectares. So first of all, for the sale, the sale part, Mr. and Mr. Shu decide to sell 40% of the total land that is 20 hectares. In this case, the land matter under National Land Code is, uh, is conversion under section uh, one one two four a. We suggest that Mr. and Miss Mr. Miss Chu, uh, can choose lot two seven six eight to be sold, since there are three land use are uh, for agriculture purpose. Therefore, section uh, one two four a is very useful for development for housing scheme on a former agricultural land. In simple word, ag agricultural land can be converted to any type of land use, such as commercial and, res and residential land use. However, however, there is some restriction for Mr. and Ms. Chu to do the conversion. So under section 124, Mr. and Mr. Chu must do uh, this condition, which is the concern of all interest parties has been obtained, all used to uh, state already has have been paid, pay any premium required, pay any prescribed fees and charge, pay the new quick rent under the new use, and comply with any condition imposed by state authority under the new use. So under this line method, uh, Mr. Miss, Mr. and Miss Shoes will be held a title of commercial land use. One of the advantages to choosing the commercial land use is under budget 2021. There will be a build, a building, a build a public university in that particular place. So it will bring a lot of demand of commercial property in surrounding. So second, I will describe in the key part. So Mr. and Ms. Shoes decide to keep another 40% of total land, that is 20 hectares of land. In this case, one of the matters involved in this case is simultaneous 
commercial and subdivision under section uh, 124A. Mr. M. Shoes has been measuring and subdivision two hectare and lease to Mr. Raja. Therefore, the, to the, the total hectare to be keep is 48 hectares. Uh, another land matter involved in this case is conversion. We advise that Mr. Admission to convert the 48 hectares from agricultural land to residential land use. This conversion could maximize the profit of them as they can build the, some landed or uh, residential building which can uh, rent for the staff or the student for the public universities. So next, I will describe in the gift part. So Mr. Admission decide to give 20% of their uh, oil palm estate to their five children and ten grandchildren. Based on the hectares of those three landlords, the suggestion that we give to Mr. and Ms. Shoes is choosing lot 2769, which has 10 hectares or 20% of the overall land as, as given land. By looking at their action, it is directly mentioned that certain of the land will be given to their children and uh, grandchildren. Thus, the type of dealing in this case is transferred. In this case, lot 2768 cannot be transferred according to section 214. Any dealing under transfer that must involve the whole land and a part of the land, but a certain part of lot 2768 has been leased to Mr. Raja. So each house will be obtained 2% of the land or 2.2 hectares of land, and each grandchild could obtain 1% of the land or 0 0.1 hectares of the land by dividing the 10 hectares among 15 hectares of 10 hectares among them. In this case, since the age of all those grandchildren is between one years old to 16 year, uh, years old, and they are categorized by uh, as minors, their parents have to apply best, uh, to be trustee under section 344 in national land code. Trustee are those who are over the age of 18 years and take responsibility for pro pro protecting investment and district distribution of the trust. That's all from us. Thank you. Uh, group 5, Sharik. Sharik? Okay, Zalifa, tolong. Uh, good. Assalamualaikum. Assalam. Uh, Syarif boleh on webcam tak? I already on Dr. Can you see me? Belum lagi. Uh, okay, can. Okay. So, uh, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to Dr. and fellow classmate. So, we are Amiskus Consultants in Neighborhood, Group 5. We consist of Dinesh, Zalifa, Syarif and Chawai Hui. Um, so our client is Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Chen. Uh, so actually, uh, our group, uh, our group, actually pretty similar to the last group. We so the first one we uh, we are we are told to keep forty percent of our land. So we choose a lot. 2767, which is the first lot, uh, the upper lot, and then we we choose to do simultaneous conversion and subdivision under section uh, 24A. So we choose to subdivide the, the land to the title, which is the title, our own title, and then to the list title of Mr. Raja. So Mr. Raja title we, uh, is 2 hectare. And then we do conversion on the uh, Mr. Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Chen title. We do conversion from agriculture to building use. So the building use we choose to do residential property to generate income. So actually pretty similar to the last group. Uh, and then the we move on to the cell, which is forty percent. We choose the the middle lot, middle lot uh, to sell lot two seven six eight. We first uh, we obtain the consent from the authority and consent from our charge, which is BB Bank. And then we do uh, conversion and solution, which is we convert the agriculture use of the building 
uh, of the land and then we we convert it to the building use and then we subdivide the land according to the number of shop unit so we and then after we, we done all the conversion and subdivision we can sell the lot uh, which is 20 hectare or 40 percent and then last uh, but not least we give 20 percent our land which is we give lot 2769 uh, again like i said uh, we actually it is similar to the last group we also give the the lower part of the lot uh, which is lot 2769 and then what we do is we divide the lot into 15 separate uh, uh, we are a bit different to the last group the last group give 5% uh, to uh, divide it into 15 similar title which is give uh, one title or one lot uh, equivalent to the six, uh, 0 0.67 hectare or 1.66 acres uh, and then we did not change the the land use we actually keep the land use to the agriculture because um, we have a lot of family yeah, tracks so maybe the, the child and the grandchildren they don't want residential so maybe they want to keep growing the the palm oil so maybe so we keep the the use and then uh, leave it up to them to happen to choose whether they want to convert or not and then the five children will we will do after we subdivide we will do transfer and then the five children will obtain the the title and they have their own name but the 15 children 15 grandchildren uh, of Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Chen will have a trustee because they are underage and uh, so there is no development like I said before we keep it to agricultural land because we want to leave it up to the grandchildren to choose what they want to do with the land so this is basically our our company consultation uh, I think that's all okay Yes, uh, my screen is visible. Is it? Yes. Not yet. No? Agnes, not yet. Okay, <laughs> now it's um. We'll get okay, there. okay, so can yes, see, see. Uh, I will start now. A very good afternoon, we right. to Dr. Haas and also our fellow course mates. We are from Casa Prima Consultant, and recently a couple, Mr. and Mrs. Chen, came to us to seek advice on their estate land near somewhere in Banting, and. They told us that they intend what they intend to do with their land is that they have three pieces of land, all under separate titles, but all belongs to them. And what they what they what they intend to do is that they intend to keep forty percent sell uh sell forty percent and also um, keep forty percent sell forty percent and give 20% to their children and their grandchildren. So they came to us for advice. And also from the market study we carry out on the land, it is found that there will be a public university coming up in Banting. So there will be a demand of residential properties in that area. And their land, Mr. and Mrs. Chen's land, are somewhere near the public university coming up. So our advice to Mr. and Mrs. Chen, what they could do is that, first off, we will deal with the selling part first. Since they want to sell 40% of the land, we recommend that they can sell lot 2768, which is 40%. Oh, first off, I have to mention that Mr. and Mrs. Chen already leased two hectares of land to Mr. Raja. So what's left to them? And the two hectares will not have any development. So what's left for Mr. and Mrs. Chen is only 48 hectares in total because two hectares will not be touched. So what's left for them is 48 hectares. And first off, we will deal with the selling of the land. First. Since they want to sell off 40%, we recommend that they sell off lot 2768 as a residential land. But currently, all lands are under agriculture. The land use category is agriculture. So what they should do is that they could apply for conversion to a residential land before they actually sell it off. So to apply for conversion, they can, there are certain criteria that must be fulfilled. They must pay whatever that is due to the state authority. And um, they also have to pay, pay all the quit rent, premium, maintenance, lease, and all that. And 
after they have done that and got the approval, they could then sell it to any developer or anyone who is interested as a residential land. So this is for the selling part. And next is to keep for keeping. If they want to keep 40% for themselves, we recommend that they keep 18 hectares of the land, which is lot 2768. It was originally 20, but as I mentioned just now, they already rented out two hectares to Mr. Raja. So they only left 18 hectares for themselves. As to keep, as for the land they would like to keep, right, we don't recommend that they carry out any conversion to change the land use or whatever. We recommend that they keep it as an agricultural land first. And in future, if they if they intend to sell it off or maybe you know expand their business, they could convert it to commercial or residential. This is up to Mr. and Mrs. Chen. So for to give out 20% for the giving part of the land, we recommend that they give out lot 2769 to their children. Because what we learned is that Mr. and Mrs. Chen has five children, but and 15 grandchildren, but all grandchildren are still under age. So what they can do is that we, they can partition the land, you know, this 20%, this 18 lots at 2769, they can partition the land to all to, to their five children. Then each child will get one over five of land and with a separate title. This is partition. And because all grandchildren are under age, so the child, the children should hold on the land on behalf of their grandchildren first. If they want to play even safer or they're worried or something, they can register for a private caveat, like the child, the parents of the grandchildren. So yes, this is the advice and the proposal we can give to Mr. and Mrs. Chen. After listening to other groups, okay, what can you see? What, what's your, what uh, are the things that your group uh, proposed development are missing? What are the things that are missing? Uh, group, our group. Ah, apa yang missing? Daripada you dengar lah tadi kan, you rasa, hmm, satunya lah, should be like this, should be like this. So what are the uh, things that you, you want to incorporate now after listening to other proposals? Okay, uh, because our group didn't put um, the concern of easement, the dominant land, uh, we didn't put yes. in, uh, the yes. charge of bank, we didn't put in. Uh, yes. the, uh, okay, wait, easement, uh, Najwa, easement which group yes. mentioned? Siapa uh, yang present tadi? Ingat tak, siapa yang present je lah. You can remember the the group uh, number. Group two. Who presented? Is it two? Eh. Betul ke tu? Group. Ah, ngaku, ngaku. Yeah. Group member. Group member. Group tu eh? I remember macam Syarik je cakap tadi. Betul oh, tak? Uh. Kan? Uh. Syarik is group 5. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, group five. Ah, tak apalah. Tapi betul eh? Isman. Lagi apa lagi? What else? And the right of uh, the grandchildren. Okay, uh, pun you forgot about that. And then one uh, more thing you said just now, the restriction in interest. Oh, Asking uh, the permission from the from the interest party is the bank lah, betul? Yep. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, I have got one question. Okay, thank you Najwa. Betul. Uh, so those are the things that are missing. But also, what's the name of your group? Consultant apa? New Property. New, New Property. property. Oh, ada, uh, but it was not made uh, very clear lah. Maybe dia tak betul ataupun dalam apa on the slide itself was uh, not mentioning the name of the group but anyway I couldn't find the name okay so all the groups have their names yeah now uh, very good okay can I ask anyone who noticed okay what is the missing what some uh, what that, that's one thing that all the groups missed siapa yang boleh perasan okay they have mentioned or the apa uh, just now Najwa mentioned that okay for her group, Isman was missing. Yeah, the group didn't didn't take into consideration uh, how to treat the Isman. Lot one one six two, the dominant land, the surveying land two seven six nine. Can okay now one thing lah. But there is one thing that all the groups are missing, or the the groups didn't mention. Anyone who noticed the missing thing? One two five or one two three point five five just now. It's above 10 acres. 
So any contiguous lands, any contiguous plots or any contiguous lands can be one, uh, two lands, three lands, uh, four parcels of lands that one, at least one of the border is touching. Okay, we call it contiguous. Fall, fall under the category of estate. Betul? So it's all there. The hint is from the beginning. I say all palm plantation, plantation, plantation. Okay, contiguous. So it, uh, the, the property is actually an estate land. Something that is missing from all three groups is the consideration that the land okay, to be developed need, need to, or the estate uh, for to be developed needs the consent from the estate land board. So wow, all the groups uh, equally forgot this point. Let me just show you. Let me just show you this slide that mention that you have to, uh, when it comes to estate land, there's a special consideration. This comes um, under uh, lecture five on dealings. Kan? Uh, so we are talking about dealings as well huh, today. So dealings, estate land. You can see my slide, right? Estate land means any agri land held under one or more. One or more. Titles in the area or aggregate area of which is not less than 40 he he uh, hectares. So anything more than 40 hectares. Our contiguous, our three contiguous lands are actually 50 hectares. Okay, so this contiguous, so this is our three lands are considered estate land. Any transfer, conveyance, disposal of estate land. Disposal means to sell just now or lease. Eh? This one, disposal of estate land. Should first obtain a certificate of approval from the estate land board. So this one lah. Eh? Cannot transfer part or whole of estate land without written permission from the estate land board. Someone mentioned state, state, state authority just now, kan? I think two or three groups. Yes, correct as well. Correct. Depending on the express condition. But this one as well, estate land board. <laughs> Even though that was something that I purposely did not put uh, in the brief. Uh, because I hoped someone would. Um, notice that 20 plus 20 plus 10 is 50 hectares. Therefore, the three contiguous parcels of land uh, can be considered are uh, actually estate land and should obtain the uh, what do you call the um, approval uh, uh, in, th in the form of a certificate uh, from the estate land board. Very important. Penting. Uh, in your head, please masukkan. Um, my attention or my interest began to perk up when we got to um, when we got to group number four. Number four, group number four was very smart and five as well. I don't know whether you discuss among yourselves, but the twenty percent, twenty percent, sorry, the forty percent, forty percent, twenty percent. Though when you translate, when you um, apa, um, notice and that the land areas. Correspond exactly to 40%. 40%. Very nice, very clever of you guys. I like that. Okay. So that defeated my initial uh, intention of seeing whether uh, you guys would do surrender and realienation. But some of you uh, did propose, yeah? did propose surrender and realienation. In particular, I think group two, betul? Group two, kan? Ngakula. Group two ada tak? Tio. Tio. Yes, yes. Uh, so very good. Uh, Tio's group. Uh, very good. Lah. So I'm going to give um, some um, brownie points lah to you guys uh, for for um, realizing that we need to do for a large parcel of land or large um, tracts of land. We This is better uh, than doing one by one. But I didn't, uh, in my head, uh, I didn't notice it's exactly like I said earlier. You guys were really clever. You, you were thinking outside the box. Uh, uh? So the forty percent, forty percent, twenty percent corresponded to the um, the land area of each plot. Oh, clever, clever. So that's why you managed to evade uh, evade my intention of seeing surrender and realienation. Five. Can you share your screen, your uh, slide, please? I would say among the six, this and also a combination of um, group. Five, group six, uh, so no, 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 group six, that's the last kid. Group four, group five, and some of group two. If you combine this, uh, you can have a perfect uh, proposed development. Ah, macam tu, uh, must combine. But this, uh, lah, uh, I would say, lah, uh, 
use this as a as a as a template. Ah, huh? good job. Now, uh, what was my point just now? Uh, Isman, uh, Isman, look there, yeah. The odd shape, um, lot two seven six nine at the bottom, ah, huh? the south one, the odd shape like like L. Uh, so that and the uh, lot the 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 adjoining land at the bottom one one six two, one one six two is the dominant land. Two seven six nine is the Servian land. Okay. The treatment was mana tadi mana tadi where is it where is it Isman mana dia Isman 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 where is it conversion so divide seven six nine give notice ah this one give notice to the dominant land or, or at least lah ah give give notice ah uh, actually it's not just giving notice you have to get consent tapi okay lah ah dia perlu tak ada langsung ah uh, rather than missing uh, apa at all the mention about how to treat the Isman at least you mention but it's not just giving notice you must get the consent from the dominant land owner and i would say how do you get this consent because you have agreed to give the right in um what do you call that uh, forever and ever right so it runs with the land it binds the land so how do you get the dominant land owner to give the consent anyone wants to answer this is like a contract between the dominant land and the servian land dominant land 1162 servian land 2769 when they reach the agreement, some kind of consideration were given. Normally, the consideration came in the form of money. Money, money, duit, duit, duit. Tidak bayar. For the use. For the, for the privilege. Uh, for the right to use. Lot 2769. So, 1162 dah pay. Apa jawab? Macam mana pula nak buat consent? Sebab dia punya tanah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Because they received the money. 2769 received some kind of consideration. Could be money lah. Uh, we can assume, right? So, we assume money has changed hand. When lot 2769 agreed to let the owner of 162 to use, yeah, land. Uh, so, in this particular case, to get the approval or to get the consent of lot 1162 to allow, to allow the development, what can be done is you pay again, uh, negotiate again, uh, ask. Well, how much you want uh, could be the original sum of money could be higher sum of money because it depends uh, when the uh, payment was made or uh, when the consideration was made uh, when they create when was the eastman created 10 years ago 40 years ago uh, that uh, inflation must be taken into account betul? Uh, so in, uh, if that's the case higher amount of money needs to be prepared to pay uh, tebusan, like that, uh, to pay uh, for the agreement of lot 1162 uh, to to um, relinquish the or to apa nama to extinguish the isman. Okay, just now Raja, yes, you must let him uh, stay because the the brief said that maybe they were such close friends. Ah, uh, they want to let Raja to stay on. Yeah, subdivide and then not transfer the part to Raja, but let Raja stay. Raja will always will keep on paying uh, for the. For the what do you call for the um, uh, privilege to uh, to occupy the land, it could be in terms of rental, a monthly rental, could be a quarterly rental, could be I don't know what depends on their agreement, uh, the agreement between Raja and also the chance minor. All groups got it right, but uh, got it right, but. I was curious as to the choice of the caveat that you, uh, some some didn't mention about the caveat. Some just say, okay, wait until the, uh, uh, the, the children uh, are minors, so therefore they cannot be, uh, the, the transfer cannot be done to them uh, due to the fact that they are minors and minors cannot hold property or cannot hold land in Malaysia. Okay, good, good, good. So all the um, groups did uh, notice that and did uh, mention that uh, in your slides, but how to treat that? Some say, okay, to give extra security, uh, put a caveat. Then. And so, uh, I think I cannot recall which group mentioned private caveat. Now, besides uh, private caveat, uh, maybe another option, another better option would be to use trust caveat. Okay? Trust, held in trust by the parents. Huh? The lands, uh, while waiting for the children, for the grandchildren to reach the age of majority, okay, in case to, to protect lah, to protect the interests of these uh, children. Uh, maybe there's a divorce ke, maybe there's a death ke later on or apa nama, uh, will be a, a, a question of inheritance or whatever to protect the interest. Okay, trust caveat rather than private caveat can be entered. But private also can, no problem, uh, but better. Because you, also, uh, you mentioned here, trustee, uh, trustee, so apa? Uh, trust caveat lah. Now, very good, very good. 
Uh, what else? Estate land board, not mentioned. Eastman, only one group. Company name, all mentioned. Subdivision, Faraja, I think most groups mentioned. Surrender and re-alienation. Kudos to group two. But then again, group two didn't look uh, at how group group four and five look at this um, problem, which is nicely divided the 40, 40, 20 just now. 20 hectares, 20 hectares, 10 hectares.